Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. Fuck the urge to do it, skin to skin, what the hell, here I go. Jump right in, fuck the urge to do it. I got that song in my head. It's a good song, though. I actually just uh, recently rediscovered it, though. Like, it's been fucking years. I think when it first came out was when the last time I listened to it. It's by the band The Urge. The song's called Jump Right In. It's pretty good. Um, it's a little ska, hard rock, you know, 311-like music. But... um yeah, it was actually, if you would like to email me, please do at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com or message me on all the various social media platforms. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I was playing the drums. Sometimes I'll, uh, like, sometimes I want to play to something. And then sometimes I just, you know, push play and play whatever, play along with whatever comes on. And so... It wasn't that song, but it was another song from that that uh, Urge album from 98. It came on when I was playing with it, and I was like, man. I was like, man, there's something. There's I remember something with these guys. And so then I downloaded the album, and I was listening to it. And when that song came on, I was like, oh, shit, there it is. As soon as the chorus came in, I was like, I fucking remember this shit. It's like time traveling, baby. I don't know. That's always cool. And I remember I didn't really give them much, uh, uh, I didn't give them much of a chance. I remember listening to that album, but, you know, I like 311 and there were some other bands and it was just like, fuck, it's kind of too much, sort of, maybe, I don't know. And so I didn't really give them, give them a chance, but, uh, so I downloaded all their other albums and stuff and I'm listening to that again, but it was kind of nice. It just made me feel young again. Cause yeah, that fucking that's twenty five, twenty six years old. It's a good, uh, it's a good song, and it's a good album actually too. And then they have other albums that I haven't listened to yet, but I'm kind of first listening to that. Their, I don't think it's their first one, but first one that was like big. And um, let's see, uh, Master of Styles. Yeah, it came out in 1998. Damn, that's crazy. So, so yeah, I've been kind of jamming on that. But it was, yeah, it was, it was crazy though. It was just like, you know, the guy's got a, a, a unique voice, and there's some of the trombones and some and some horns and shit. So it's got the ska element. And, and it was going, and everything was there, and I was like, oh, man, I know there's something. There's a hook, or there's something that really fucking, and it was like, so the songs, you know, but yeah, it was just, it was weird, because like, just, I just knew there was something, and then, yeah, as soon as I heard the chorus, I was like, oh, fuck, there it is, and it's got, actually, if I remember right, too, I think the singer from 311, sings on the chorus for that song if i'm not mistaken shit i just closed the window i had for them oh well look it up let me know (laughs) but i'm pretty sure though because i remember i retain stupid shit like that um yeah so what's up (laughs) i i uh i didn't really have uh plan actually i kind of did fuck but i forgot what i was going to talk about i mean it was that like i had sort of a a um something to talk about and then i don't know that song and i just kind of sung it and then it just fucked everything up excuse me um son of a bitch huh well it happens so The balloon got shot down. 
But that episode is on the next one. And damn, I'm seeing this video on Twitter, and this guy is whooping the shit out of his. I'm assuming he's his kid. He's got a belt, and he's just going to fucking town on him. But this kid's like a young adult. I'm going to have to watch this, dude. He's fucking whooping the shit out of him. He must have really did something. But we got him in the back, too. I wonder what he did. I'm going to have to watch that <laughs> to see what that's about. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't remember. Damn it, there was something I wanted to talk about. The urge. Da, 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 da. I got that song. Skin to skin. What the hell? And then, oh man, there was something. Son of a bitch. Was it a movie or something? I don't know, but I did order. Um. Desperado on Blu-ray because I have don't have it I haven't watched that in a long time and I don't think my kids have seen it and stuff so I was thinking that would be cool and then 300 also got 300 oh that's right the I was gonna talk about my brew making <clears throat> which some of you are like dude I thought you're fucking what about you know Islam and I'm like I know I still am but you know just making my own beer. I wanted to, I don't know, I've always wanted to try it. I tried making um, a ginger beer because I saw a thing on it and I was like, oh, that looks pretty simple. And I thought ginger beer would be easier than beer, but it's it's the basic, it's the same fucking process, just different ingredients, obviously. But I don't know, I thought I thought beer would be a little more, I mean, it's not simple but it's not hard either i don't know <clears throat> but so i i don't know I ordered, <clears throat> I, ordered, I ordered a kit on amazon and it came in the other day so right now it's fermenting yeah and uh i mean they they give you a little starter kit so you can make it's just a gallon um and i already have bottles and stuff ready for from when I did the ginger beer. So anyway, just to back up. So a few months ago, I, I was like, I'm going to try making ginger beer because the ginger is a big commodity. You know, it's, it's, you can find it anywhere here, like in the market. And so I mean, you can get it in the States too, I guess, but it's just, it's, you just see it. It seems like you see it everywhere here. So I was like, I'll do that. And, and maybe I'll give it another try, but I, I made it, I did it, just like this one video, you know, was explaining to me how to do it, and it didn't turn out bad, but I think I needed a cheesecloth for one, but it just, I don't know, it just tasted like, like I was drinking some sort of juice, you know, it wasn't beer-like at all to me, so I was just like, yeah, I mean, I drank the ones I made, but... I don't even know, like, how much alcohol, if any, was in it, or, you know. And I don't think there was. And, um, so, I've been wanting to do the same thing with beer. So, I ordered a kit, and I ordered the uh, Hefeweizen, 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 um, you know, flavor. And so I did that, and it was yeah, it was basically just the same. It's the same process, and um, like I said, right now it's it's in my room fermenting, and then I'll do another step tomorrow, and then you gotta let it sit for a while, and then and then and then and then to add the carbonation and stuff, and um, I think. For the alcohol content, or no, it's, uh, I gotta watch some more videos. Anyway, you have to um, put it in like some more water with some sugar and mix it together, and then you bottle it that way, and then you let it sit, you know, on the counter 
room temperature, which is not room temperature does not mean the same thing here as it does in the States. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I was thinking like the room I'm in now, cause right now it's not too hot here. Like it cools off in the evening. Like right now it's not bad. Um, and I was thinking like, you know, I was saying room temperature and I'm like, well, I could probably do it in here and it's not to be out of the way. But I was like, oh, I'm going to make sure. So I, I have this clock. It's like a battery operated clock that has a, 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 a you know, thermostat on it. And I don't think it's that accurate, but uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm drinking root beer. So, um, and it, it, you know, it fucking gave me the temperature and I was like, whoa, it's way too hot in here, you know? So I was like, well, what the fuck? So I was thinking, you know, okay, I guess I got to do it in my room where it's the, the only room that has the air conditioning somewhat regularly. And it's basically where I have it set. So like, you know, for it to cool off and to be like, oh, it feels so good in here. Oh, it feels so cold. It's 70 fucking degrees. Because I'm trying to learn Celsius and not, you know, Fahrenheit. So I'm trying to get used to that being over here. So the thermostat. So, I mean, you know, I know, okay, 20 degrees Celsius feels good. So that's, you know. And, but then when I was like, okay, it was like, you know, it needs to be like 69, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So I put that in the thing and it was like, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, that's, so it's like, I'm sitting there like, dude, it's. 6970 in here right now feels colder than that so i guess i don't know maybe that's a good thing i'm getting climatized but so i had a you know that's where the beer is fermenting and i told my wife not to touch the ac because that can affect the fermentation progress if it's too hot you can fuck it up and if it's too cold it won't do it enough well you can also fuck it up it just fucks it up differently so you want to have the temperature at the right temperature. It's important. Temperature and 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 clean, clean um, things <laughs> that you use, objects that you use for brewing that need to be clean and sterilized. Those are the two big, big components, I guess. Because everything else is just like you know. If you do too much of whatever, it just can change the flavors and stuff. So that's, you know, people want to experiment doing that. But anyway, so <clears throat> so I'm doing that. I'm going to try that. But I still have like two and a half weeks before I'll be able to even drink this beer. And then if I like it, I actually already ordered four five more gallons worth of ingredients of the same thing, Hefeweizen. And so I'm going to just kind of do it, just kind of do what I'm doing each time and see if it kind of comes out the same and you know what I mean? Um, and then if I'm still enjoying it and everything, I might try the stout. And then, and then if it's still kind of, you know, still, if I'm still enjoying it, I might, the, the company that I bought this from, they have like a bigger system that you can brew five gallons at a time. And then it actually like saves <clears throat> some steps or it saves hardware or containers. It's all in one thing. It's like 200 bucks, but I'm like, you know, maybe if I kind of, you know, if the beer tastes good and, and, and I'm enjoying it, then maybe I'll make some for the restaurant. We can have like our own our own beer and then then I'll I'll get that contraption so I can make five gallons but we'll see right now I'm watching like I subscribe to some dude that has a beer make dude there's a fucking YouTube channel for everything you know there really is at least I think there is. Every time I think of something, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh shit, there probably is, and I'll look, and there's something. So I found some dude that he's, you know, does brew at brewing or home brewing, and but he does it kind of, you know, the old school, just the pots and making certain things and stuff like that. But and then he's also made mead, which I might try someday. I don't know. Um, 
and then like I don't know some shit like that. There's just you know a bunch of different stuff, and then this um it's 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 a uh, craft craft of brew I think is the company is what the little kit that I bought, and I think they also have ones for wine and gin. And gin is big here. Everybody loves gin, so. I don't know. I don't think I'll get that crazy into it. But I mean, if I don't know, if this becomes my hobby or something. Maybe people would like the gin here, and then I'd like to make some red wine. But don't you need like a shitload of grapes, so I don't know. I seen that that documentary about uh, Maynard James Keenan and his winery. The singer from <clears throat> singer from Tool. He has his own winery. Um, and there was a documentary. It was on Netflix when I saw it, but that was years ago. Um, I can't remember what it's called though. But it was pretty cool. It was just and it was, you know, about his winery. It wasn't so much about him and and Tool and stuff. I mean there's a little bit of that in there, but so, but it's just like, I remember watching that and just thinking like, fuck man, it's a lot of work <laughs> doing the wine and everything. So, but I don't know, I guess I kind of thought the same thing with the beer, you know, and the beer kit and everything. And so far from, or at least from what I can tell, it's not that much work really. Um, but it's kind of, you know, I don't want to like say too much until I get the final product and see. So once I have the beer completely done and I taste it, um, then I'll maybe talk more about it, how easy it was. <laughs> if it tastes good. Oh, yeah, it was fucking easy. Um, but I don't know. But, yeah, so let's see. See how that goes. Um, let's see. I want to see what the fuck. I guess I can play it. You guys won't hear it. I want to hear what they're saying. So, okay, hold on. <laughs> Take your fucking licks. Oh, shit. <laughs> it keeps moving. Oh, that got him in the back right there. He keeps moving. Oh! Oh! Ah, in the back again. He's, oh, that's it. Damn it. So I hear people laughing. They sound like they're stoned. <laughs> I said that, did I say that in my last video? I don't, I don't know, but they need to bring back the wooden paddle in the schools. Cause it's like, dude. I don't know. Just crazy. But I don't know, did anybody watch the, I think, was that what I was going to talk about? The Grammys? Anybody see the Grammys? I didn't see it. I'm fucking, I don't think I've ever watched the Grammys, but I've seen clips of the Grammys and I seen somebody fucking like, I don't know, it's just like, everybody's dressed like fucking the devil and, and all this kind of shit. And it's like, I don't know. It's crazy. It's like, you know, I remember people used to say rock and roll was the music of the devil, but it's fucking pop music, which I don't know. I guess, I guess rock and roll when it came out was pop because it was popular, but I don't know. It's just, you know, they tried saying that, I don't know. Rock music was, you know, and they, I don't know, they kind of, they fed into it and stuff like that with the imagery and everything, but I don't know, shit now, I don't know, man, 
Sodom and Gomorrah. It's crazy. I think I might end the episode though, because <clears throat> I'm pretty close. And I completely fucking forgot what I was, what I originally was gonna talk about. So I need to start writing that shit down. <clears throat> but anyway. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff. Um, and I'll see you next time. Later. Yay, yay!